Hey everybody, Psychic Crystalline here and welcome to episode one of my new series that I'm going to base on the Netflix series Unsolved Mysteries. So what I'm going to do is go down each episode and break it down step by step on a psychic level what I pick up um, on each case. And so today we're going to start with episode one, which is the Ray Rivera mystery on the rooftop. And so what I'm going to do is break it down and explain to you guys step by step for Ray Rivera's case, um, specifically today, um, how I really don't think Ray Rivera committed suicide. I'm picking up pretty strongly that this was a lot more complicated um, than people are led to believe. And what I see is that this is a straight up uh, murder, like a murder case, basically. I feel like Ray... Um, was in pretty deep and I'll get into the details of that as you know as the episode progresses um, but let's get into it thanks for watching today okay so the first thing I want to discuss is where I feel like Ray Rivera um, went off the building and ended up in that hole so basically what I'm picking up on a psychic level is Ray Rivera was I guess he was forced out of the window, which I'll go into more later. Um, I'm picking up on the 12th floor, actually. So it's above the 11th floor ledge. Um, there's a window in the middle. Um, after I explain this a little bit, I'll show a screenshot and some shots so you guys can all kind of visualize what I'm talking about. So I feel like Ray was forced out of that 12 foot window up above where the 11th floor ledge is. And so... The autopsy report had shown some abnormal breaks in the lower legs of Ray Rivera. And from what I'm picking up psychically, he went out that 12th story window. And as he was falling and going down to the 11th, you know, off past the 11th floor, his legs hit that ledge. And it caused, it created a break in his lower legs. And then he was, you know probably tumbled out from there and went out further and ended up, you know, down into that hole in where he was later found. So what I'll do now is I'll show a few screenshots to explain kind of in, you know, more of a visual, the area I really think that he left that building before his death. Okay, thanks. Okay, so now the next question is, how did Ray Rivera end up up on that 12th floor conference room, you know, when he had just run out to take a call? And so as we all saw on the episode, you know, that phone call was traced back to Stansberry and Associates, which is, you know, his colleague Porter's company. And so that gag order was put on right away where nobody's able to speak. Um, so we definitely know that there is somewhat of a connection with that company for the last phone call, you know, and I actually feel like this is a lot more relevant, um, and I'll explain why. So first of all, um, what I'm seeing is that, you know, he met, somebody called him from Stansbury and Associates and was like, hey, meet me up on, you know, the 12th level of the Belvedere Hotel. And this is where, you know, the motive comes in. And I guess I was going to save it for the end. Um, but now I feel like I need to explain why I see Ray going up to that hotel. And what I'm picking up here is Ray, you know, that money clip is another factor. Ray took that money clip um, for a reason. He was planning on meeting somebody from Stansbury and Associates. And what I'm picking up is Agora Inc., so I am seeing Agora Inc. is, you know, a lot more involved in the situation with Ray and Stansberry um, than is publicly known, maybe. Um, so what I'm seeing basically is that Ray Rivera was blackmailing Agora Inc. Um, I see that Ray had a lot of dirt on, you know, I feel like maybe a Ponzi thing or something, but Ray knew too much. And so 
he was just about to have that two-year contract that he had, you know, planned on staying for two years on the East Coast. And I feel like he was just like a couple months shy of that two-year mark. And this is why I feel like it plays into the motive even more. Because I feel like Ray Rivera had been blackmailing them and was going to take that money, move back to California, and start a new film. Like, he was, his passion was screenwriting. And what I see is that note on the back of the computer was more about an idea that Ray had for a future film screenwriting. And I do see a little bit of a taste of a Freemason storyline with that. So that could be why, you know, there's a little bit of those Freemasonary quotes that were included in that note. So what I see is Ray went to meet them up there on the 12th floor in hopes of exchanging, you know, money for, okay, I'm going to leave, you know, give me the money. I want to get out of here. Basically, he wanted to clean his hands and get out of the situation, but wanted some compensation financially to stay quiet. And so I, yeah, this is what I see. So that goes into the motive and all of that. So watch further. I'll kind of break it down a little bit more, but that's the big meat of the story as the motive here is actually Ray was blackmailing Agora Inc. So, okay. So the next thing I kind of want to discuss is also the phone and the shoes, how they were found on the roof. And so what I'm picking up psychically is that those were actually placed there after the, you know, which shows more of a motive with foul play. Those did not just fall out of his pocket or whatever. They, I feel like they placed that stuff there afterwards. Um, and I also wanted to kind of explain a little bit earlier. When I say that the phone call um, came from that Stansberry building, I don't see that Porter is the one who made that phone call. But I do see that Porter is indirectly involved in this because of his connections to Agora Inc. And I know he knows 100% what was going on, but he is not actually the person that you know, is responsible for this. It's mostly Agora Inc. And I'm not sure who they are, but I remember the name coming up in the Netflix series. So I had it on my list of things to douse, you know, and so I asked Spirit, who, you know, who, who's responsible? And I, I made a chart. It's pointing to Agora Inc. It's not pointing to Porter. But I do feel like he played a big part and a big role in this. So hopefully, you know, law enforcement can maybe look further. Um, I, I'm, you know, I have my hands tied at this, but I really think that this needs to be looked into a lot deeper and a lot further, including Agora Inc. And why would, um, you know, Ray want to blackmail them? So what was going on there? There's a lot that was trying to be covered up and hopefully with time, you know, things will get revealed and there will be more of a sense of justice for Ray and his wife and all his family that misses him. So thanks for listening today and I hope this was helpful and I look forward to sharing, you know, my breakdown for the rest of the episodes. This was fun. Have a beautiful day. Thanks for listening.